Hey guys, my name is Exeter, and today's story, which will actually be the first type of story I'll be doing on my channel, starts with me in my nice heel adder, which has a paint job video on the way, don't worry, I will come up with it soon, I just have to go through some other colors first, because there's an order of operations in which I send out these episodes, but with the new High Life DLC that came out recently, it's going to take a little bit longer than I would have hoped for. But anyway, so... Let's go back to it. So I call Pegasus for my Vestra, which ends up being Cyan Blue. So I drive to the Tyne Hangar, and there's my Vestra. And I then enter my Vestra and take off right away. Of course, I don't sit around. I don't wait. I don't have cops on me to avoid. I just go and take off. Now, the only reason why I really want a plane or a Vestra in the first place is so I can crash into the guy with the bounty. So to get him, I have to have a fast plane, I guess you could say, because he's also in a Vestra. Or he was going decently fast. I didn't realize he was in a Vestra until I passed right by him. So I grab my Vestra, which is one of the fastest planes in the game. And it's also one of the most maneuverable planes in the game. So I'm hoping if I grab it, I can crash into him much easier. Because he is kind of trying to dodge me. I think he's, he's just having fun. Just like flying around and I'm following him. Like sometimes when you have a bounty... You don't know you have a bounty, or if you do know you have a bounty, you're not sure if people are just going for you or trying to have fun with you. Like, for me, I usually just always assume that they are trying to kill me, but you're never sure. So, I'm telling this guy, though, for about a minute or two, when out of nowhere, a jet flies in and hits the tail of my plane. And I don't die. He explodes. Kaboom! But, you know, I don't die. It was really surprising to me. No contusions happen to the plane. Sometimes when you, like, touch something, the engine starts smoking on the Vestra. It's one of the easiest planes to damage in the game. That's my opinion. More than the Mallard. More so than the Mallard, which I was kind of surprised about. But he, he crashes into me. Nothing happens. I don't die. He dies. He blows up. I, I destroy a jet without dying. What's up? I don't even have missiles. But, you know, so that happened. But let's go back a frame before the crash. So, what I really want to know is why this guy decided to fly into me anyway. Like, seriously, why did he want to fly into me? The first thing I thought was maybe the man thought I was one in, the one with the bounty? I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe the guy or gal in that plane thought I was the one with the bounty, so he went after me. So, he thought that I was just flying around with a friend, and then, boom, got me. But then, there's another thing to that. Because if he thought I was the one with the bounty, why didn't he just shoot me with missiles? Or, like, the two-hitter, no-quitter missiles or cannon? Because the cannon shoots two bullets, and if those two bullets hit you, you're done. The two bullets hit you, and you're done. Two. Just two. Same with the missiles. Two missiles hit you, you're done. One of them incapacitates your plane, or kind of keeps you from flying around for a long time. The other one just kills you right away. I don't really get it. Now, another reason why this guy would fly into me is because he didn't see me. I mean, from a distance, my plane, I guess, would blend in with this guy. Um, I'm, I have a Siam plane, so the background was kind of like the same colorish. I mean, the color scheme was about the same, so maybe, maybe he just didn't see me. But still, why kamikaze me? I mean, yeah, I guess he could dodge me, but he went straight at me. Still, he went straight at me. And then I wanted to make a joke about being Heller Keller, or like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even want Ray Charles, you know, Ray Charles. But I don't even want to make a joke about it because I don't find it that funny. But you know, there's just all that stuff. But anyway, so away from the crazy man in a death machine, let's go back to the clip. So after that skillful dodge, I, I have to kind of make myself feel good about it. So after that skillful dodge where the jet blows up and I survive without any wounds, without any wounds I might say, I continue to pursue my original and expensive target. Now I call him expensive, not because I have to pay for his vehicle after it explodes, but because he is worth $9,000, which I know isn't that much money, but I don't know, it depends on where your standing is in GTA. So there isn't a lot of ways to get money in this game nowadays. So whenever you see like some way to get money through a glitch or something, everyone is on top of it right away. So. When he decides to get close to the ground, I realize that I can I can get him then, because he's going to have to pull up. So if I just stay a little bit higher than him, when he pulls up, I can just crash into him, and that is exactly what happens. So, after the whole ordeal with the man flying from the jet from earlier, 
decides to give me this for my skillful kill. He kills me. He shoots me. He just wants to kill me. I guess he got pissed. You know, makes sense. Makes sense. But the other guy... Uh, it's really funny. But wanna know what the other guy does? He goes in the passive mode just so he can send me a rather nice message which reads, LOL, that was a sweet, a sweet crash. Sorry, I don't know how to read. A sweet crash. N1. I don't know what N1 means, and they gave me a little smiley face. But I don't know what N1 means, but that's a really nice message. I just killed a guy, and he said, that was awesome. He, he liked it. He liked the crash. That's a good player right there. So now, I don't know what N1 means, like I said before, but I'm assuming it has something, some good connotations. But I think that was a nice message overall. You guys probably have the same idea. Now, the funny strange events continue when I was about to exit my car and run to my new red Vestra, which I just called, and plop. A new Luxor jet spawns in the air and falls on my new Vestra. Like the good 21st century spawn, I am... I snap a picture on my phone and share it to the social medias because, you know, that's just the person I am. When I say social media spawn, I mean 21st century spawn, I mean, I'm, I was born in the 20th, 20, like 20th, 21st century, so of course I'm going to be using my phone all the time. I mean, come on. So 10 minutes later, after this guy and has gone over, like the guy with the jet, and after all this has happened, I'm in a helicopter with my new friend who happens to be the guy I killed for the bounty earlier. So, you know, and Pegasus sends me this message. Now, this is 10 minutes later. It took my Vestra, which was on fire, 10 minutes to explode. I just think that is the cherry on top of the cake representing the story. It's, I don't know. I just think it works perfectly. So, thank you for listening. My name is Exeter. I hope this will not be my only GTA 5 story. I hope for more in the future. But, you know, you guys have to like it first. So, I hope you guys like the video. So, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content. My name is Exeter. And I hope you guys like this story.